Hi everyone, it's Ethan. Let me start out by saying two things. One, I could not get Panopto to download on my computer. I currently have a school district computer and um, not my personal, and so I wasn't able to download it on there. You're not allowed to download from outside links. So I'm just going to upload this to YouTube and then post the link on the actual slideshow. Um, also, I thought I was gonna have time to film this before work and I did not. So. If you hear any beeping or anything, please just disregard. Uh, all right, let's get started. So the parent that I chose to interview for my parent interview was my aunt, Kelsey. She has two kids, Blakely and Briggs. They are two and one. Um, I included a little picture of them on the presentation. Uh, and they have attended the same child care center since she went back to work after having them. So they have been there for now two years, Blakely and Briggs, almost one. So um, the center that they attend is an in-home center. And she described this as being something that was very important to her. She did not want a large daycare community facility, whereas I would prefer something like that for my children just for the social aspect. But I can understand as a first time parent it's pretty scary to send your kids just to a big center. So she wanted something that was in home. She found Angie's and she said right off the bat, she walked in and she could just, she fell in love. She loved the center. She loved how she had it set up. She loved the activities that the kids were doing. She kind of got to go and like observe a full day, which she said was really cool as well. Um, she really likes how it's family style. Angie's husband, Greg, also helps out a lot. And the kids actually call her Angie and Papa. Um, and so he helps out a lot. And she said it's just like kind of, she feels sometimes like just dropping her kids off at grandma and grandpa's. And she knows that they're in great hands. Uh, she said she described it as a lovely and safe place. Um, which I thought was just really unique that she would say that because we always describe things as safe. We want to create a safe classroom. We want to create a welcoming classroom, but for a parent to say that it just proves how important it is. Um, she said when, when describing, um, her anecdotal notes, she said, I took something away. She said that she takes the time to meet the needs of each individual child. She described a time that Blakely was having some struggles with communication and just the patience that she had with her and the communication that she had with Kelsey about that. Like, this is what's working. This is what's not working. Um, and it honestly helped her start to communicate a lot more. And so she said, um, also she describes the importance of the dom domains. She lists rated her a five on that skills. Um, because she said whenever she walked in for her tour, she, as a nurse, a knew, had a little bit of background knowledge about the domains, not too much as we do as a teacher, but she said that she got to kind of see each center and put that into perspective of, okay, these are each of the domains. This is what she's hitting with each one. That's awesome. Um, she said she rated her as a two on the, um, skill that was like something along the lines of, uh, meeting the current trends and something like that. She rated her a two because she said she's currently stuck in her ways. Um, she said that at times she feels that she's been doing this for a very long time. And so the kids are doing more things like the way she described it to me, um, was she, they're doing more things like crafts and more like product oriented things. Whereas she would prefer them to do more of like the process kind of idea. Um, and she said the most important skill is communication to her. She said she has never felt like she was in the dark or confused about a situation or a bad day at daycare because they have such good communication through texting and their daily phone calls and meetings and, you know, seeing each other from drop off and pick up. Um, and so she said that was really, really important to her. And she thinks that's the number one skill. All right. The teacher that I chose to interview was Molly Talkie. She's a fourth grade teacher at a school here in town, elementary. Um, I actually had the pleasure of teaching summer school with her uh, two years in a row. And so we have a very strong relationship. We're good friends. Uh, she described her director as someone who, it, very compassionate. She kept using the word compassionate. They have a very strong relationship. She said it was very hard to come up with flaws because they have such a good relationship. She said she loves the open communication that she has. She said she never has felt 
eerie of going to her for a situation or um, to talk to her about anything. Um, she also said that she um, had a challenging student at one point and she had tried, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, everything under the sun and nothing was working and she went to her about it and she said she just provided her with a new way of how she didn't describe exactly how it was but like a new way of try this instead and if that doesn't work come back and we can re-meet and try it again and they got this problem fixed um she said at times she does have she lacks a backbone and that some of the veteran teachers kind of take over and um you know maybe boss people around a little bit because they've been there for so long and she doesn't stop that. Uh, so she said she wishes she was a little bit more stronger as a leader. Um, the I put first day of school assembly on there. I actually got to witness this and she I'm glad she brought it up because the principal was in the middle of the school leading each grade's chance. Um, I was substitute teaching at the time and she was leading each grade's chance and you could just feel the energy and the love that she had for that building and those kids. And it was really cool to see. That just proves how much, how compassionate she is. Um, and then in encourages a collaborative climate within professional relationships. She rated her a two. Again, back to that um, lack of backbone comment. Uh, and then the most important skill she said is relationship building. She said she wishes that they had more of a class, more of a community as a school. She said her first year, she, you know, thought that that was really awesome and there was a lot of collaboration going on and she said it's just kind of falling off through the years and so she doesn't know exactly how to fix that but um that that was really important to her and I would agree with that um the reason that I had to interview a teacher from a different school is because Angie does not have any employees besides her and her husband at her center so now on to Angie. I, the little picture I included, it just is so cute. I just, I, I love her. She's so kind. Um, so she has been running this particular in-home center for 15 years. Prior to this, she was a kindergarten teacher. She wouldn't share exactly how long, I think, because alluding to her age a little bit, I let her have that. But, um, so she said one of her biggest strengths is communication yet again. Uh, she said she texts the parents daily and if they aren't texting for a certain situation, then she's sending pictures and she is greeting them at drop off and pick up and, you know, talking to them. She said that is the number one thing that she is really, really good at. Um, she said some of the struggles with running an in-home daycare and some of her weaknesses were she feels like she never leaves work because it's in her home. And so she said, whereas, you know, she was, and she feels bad for her husband, Greg, as well, because he kind of feels like he has to take on a role because it's out of his home. And whereas he retired a few years ago and she's like, Greg, I just, I want you to live. So I can understand how that can be a little bit of a struggle. Um, she said she rated herself exhibits compassion with others a four um and that was meaning the teachers or the teachers the parents and the children she said uh she, you know she's always looking out for the parents well-being overall and the kind of like the family's well-being she attends their um, birthday parties she attends football games basketball games you know even from kids that have kind of aged out and gone to an elementary school she still goes back and attends and her and Greg are just awesome. Uh, she said the most important skill is compassion. And I would agree with her on that because you have to have a lot of compassion and patience to run an in-home daycare. Something I could never do. Um, all right, so wrapping everything up, comparing, contrasting. Um, a successful director is an excellent communicator. We heard that not only from you know, Kelsey, Angie, and Molly a little bit. I heard that from each interview that I had. You have to have communication. Um, they all sound very knowledgeable. The director from the elementary school and Angie is very knowledgeable with setting up the domains and, um, you know, having that open communication that's knowledgeable. They're very experienced. Uh, the director of the elementary school was a teacher for many years before she decided to start trying to become a principal and Angie has a lot of experience as well because she has been a teacher prior to running her center for 15 years um I thought it was very interesting um 
that they kind of said the same, Angie and Kelsey kind of said the same thing and that she wishes that she kind of could keep up with the current trends and the current, she said she's just been out of it for too long, out of the actual, and I don't want to say actual, but all of, out of the school education world. She's kind of been out of it for a while. So she, they both said that and I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, and then they are compassionate. You know, you have to have a heart for children. And not only for that, you have to have a heart for adults too in the role of a director. Um, and they build community. You know, that was something that we heard lacked at the elementary school and uh, was pretty, pretty well known at Angie's level because of just their, you know, constant communication and constant um, I, lack of word, but, you know, showing up for each other. Um, the most important skill that I said, uh, the characteristic of a develop, of a leader is, uh, I'm sorry, that was just word vomit. The most important skill that I think a director should have is they have to be a good leader. You know, a leader kind of is like an umbrella and they have so many different talents within. And, you know, as we've looked at, some are stronger than others, but overall they have to have the best thoughts in mind for the children, the center, the adults, the staff, the parents, everybody. And so they're kind of, you know, leading this building. And I think that's the most important. And there's so many different qualities that fall under a leader as well. And so that's why I decided to go with that one. Um, the pictures I included on this one are, to, you know, open communication. It's just kind of the, a general picture of that. And then a little Superman meme that says, I'm a teacher, what's your superpower? Uh, so it was very cool again to interview all of these people and then kind of look at it and compare and contrast from this assignment. Um, so I enjoyed that. I really did. I hope you guys learned a little bit in my presentation and I will see everyone later. Thank you. Bye.